if I'm hearing you right, Paul may be gay. Like that. Potentially. Potentially. Yeah, I mean, he always had a thing when we talked about. Hey YouTube, I'm up to my stalker ways again. Um, okay, so I don't know how long I'll be able to do this. Paul's losing interest, but that actually gets me more excited that he's losing interest because now if he's not interested, then I can start uh, annoying him. That's really my goal. So I'm here at uh, Tony Painter's house, somebody that comments on all the videos and uh we're doing some work for him and uh so i'm gonna go in i think maybe in my stalker uh efforts getting to the the root of paul's issues and really finding out how really i can annoy him the best um i i think this may all blow up but i think that this tony guy went to school with paul or knows him but uh so we're gonna check him out and we're gonna get him on camera and we're gonna we're gonna start getting to the bottom of of Paul Robinette all the way back from childhood hopefully I think I should just walk in like I do at Paul's house I rang the doorbell okay right. hello Tony Painter! What's up, Joe? How you doing, man? <laughs> What's going on, brother? I told you I was coming in. Coming camera in blazing. Loading. That's right. Cool. Come on in. So what are we doing for you? That area in there clean, and then this one in here. Come we're on gonna, in. We're going to charge him way more than we told him. <laughs> exactly. And that in there. Yeah. So I didn't show your address. That's so cool. let me ask you a question. Sure. Did you know Paul from childhood or something? Yes. You went to school with him. Paul and I lived probably... A mile and a half apart. Really? So where his mom and dad lived on Lockhorn Road. Yeah. My parents lived on Bixby, right, right around the, the corner. Park. So we rode the same bus together, and that's where all the crazy stories are. So, was he just as retarded pretty at much. that age? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, any good stories? You know, I probably can think of a few while you're here. Are we getting in your way? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get some work done around here. Yeah. See, and I put obstacles in his you way. You were See, and I put obstacles in his you way. You were <laughs> So, here's what, what's going on. The whole stalker thing was funny. Uh-huh. Uh, but now he's bored with it. Uh-huh. So, I don't know if he'll post this video on his channel or not. Right. But the way I see it, the more bored he is, then I can start agitating him. Gotcha. So, I think my sole purpose is just, I'm going to, I created a channel. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to... I'm literally going to try to make him mad. Just antagonize him. <laughs> now, how are you related to Paul? His mother and my grandfather. So he's... Okay. We're hillbilly cousins. Like, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So so, <laughs> the, so what I'm trying to figure out... Here's what I think is going on. Mm -hmm. Paul was really successful. I, know, I don't know how much you know about You his. know, I didn't know that he was on YouTube until you know, I heard it from my sister told me some stories. And my sister now who grew up down here as well and knew Paul and knew Tasha and Nicole. Yeah. Um, and we knew Mark, you know. Yeah. We were all rode the same bus together. Okay. Through Hamilton South, which was the elementary school. Right. And then we went to middle school. We all went to middle school together. And I think around high schools, when we got into high school, is where we all were kind of in like different cliques. Okay. Right? So we didn't we didn't talk to Paul a lot in high school. I mean, we said hi to each other. We were also very amicable. But when we were in middle school and on and going to elementary, I mean, there was lots of interaction on the bus and, you know, stuff that we spent time talking to each other and everything. There was a lot of that going on. But I, I knew that he was there, but I didn't know how successful that he'd been and how you even make money on YouTube and the advertising right. and all that. I had no insight into that at all. Yeah, well, he, after high school, he started a Christian rock band or had a Christian mm -hmm. rock band and had a lot of success then he uh, he has several inventions mm-hmm well I don't know if they're inventions. yeah why don't you have a candy can I, I do <laughs> my arm I, that's what I'm I sit, that's your painting can <laughs> yeah that's my painting can so Paul invented an extrusion process well play school invented play-doh the extrusion process right. but Paul put wax in it Okay. He also invented a locking mechanism for trash cans. 
which by the way put half of our family out of business you can't <laughs> so there's no more trash picking going on okay but he made a lot of money from that he made uh then he then he had this brilliant idea it turns out that if you open a candle store in an all gay community right it's going to be successful right he's a genius he's a genius who would have known who would have known that so now <laughs> i have a story to go with that too when we get to that point. Now, now what i think he's doing is i think he's got this lead from behind mentality going on mm -hmm. i think i'm onto it so i don't know if he's like deleting subscriptions or not letting everybody comment or somehow holding down his views because he's the have you heard that he's this the the king of youtube not heard that yet uh so i guess i need to i need well, to do a little, i watch all his videos he's the king of youtube okay i guess that but he's the he must be the humble king leading from behind that's all gotcha. i can figure out because now he gets on youtube and he he's poor and he's this and he's that mm -hmm. and all this stuff he's up to he's up to something it's a scheme. Gotcha. That's it's so got there's something be. working in the in the background. There's something, something working in the wrong. background, right? Okay. okay. And it doesn't matter. Like I've tried to just stop in on him, mm -hmm. which he loves. He loves when I just show up at his house unannounced. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, you should. I'm gonna go over with the dog. I'm gonna take the dog, which I'll bring her down a little bit. And Everybody knows where he lives. Yeah, he puts his address. He puts out his there. address right he on there. Gifts. Oh, he's had people call <laughs> the FBI and. St oh yeah, it's <laughs> it's hilarious. Anyway, so. All, I'm trying to get to the bottom of Paul Robinette. I'm trying okay. to figure out what makes the mastermind work. Okay. And get back. So I figured I'd come back to his roots, his childhood, and it just worked out that you were, you know, yeah. you subscribed to his channel, you oh, comment. Yeah. It, are you a school? Are you a principal? No. Your picture, you look like a principal. Like you could be a principal. <laughs> That's terrible. No. Um, I started out working in body shops. I painted cars for a living. Um, then I moved into the office, started writing estimates. You crash your car, tell you how much it costs you to fix it. And now I work for the company that produces the software that does that. Nice. And I travel, I was telling the guys, I'm gone usually. I travel uh, 27 states, and I have uh, 17 people that work for me. Nice. Uh, work on the team, so yeah. We're up to almost nine minutes of a video. Nobody's going to watch us that long. Nobody's going to watch us that long. What's your best Paul Robinette, Renetto, well, I guess my best one, and I, it, what's or, bad is that I'm Or maybe not, something like where you think maybe this is where he went off the track. Like maybe this is like, maybe was a pre-nomer, precursor to future. We should have known something. You know, like the serial killers when they shoot, yeah. shoot up the whole mall? Yeah. And they're like, we should have known. <laughs> is, is, is. is there something like that? Like we, this was a clear cut indicator. I don't know if it, there was a clear-cut indicator or if it was something like that, but there was this one time. Paul, and I, I guess this may lead up to his whole musical career, there was a song that he made up that we used to sing on the bus, and we, add, we kept adding things to it. He would come up with new verses to add, up, add to it, and I can't remember the whole thing, but it was something like, uh, Girls are made up, greasy, grimy gopher guts, chopped up parakeets, mishy mashy monkey feet, something like that. And he would add verse of that, and we would continue this song on every day on the bus. And it got to be where it was like five minutes long. Nice. Six minutes long. So that's the one thing I remember us, because I can remember us singing those songs on the bus. So you're saying... Our bus rides were entertaining. What I'm... Oh, I made it very entertaining. And you know, he just had his video out there where... He might have slept with that guy. He might have slept with that guy. I like it. <laughs> Oh, right. he coerced me into it. Yeah, he coerced me into it. I think either that or you're something. Well, I don't think he's gay because he's got kids, right? So he could be bi. He could be bi. He could just go both ways. He's obviously very metro. <laughs> Without a doubt, he's metro, right? I mean, you can see that in the video. Well, he's trying to. I think the flannel. He was trying to like get it, <laughs> throw the curveball. The flannel was terrible. All right. Well, I'm gonna continue my endeavor. YouTube. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. For, of Paul's success or his now I think he's trying to act like he's not successful I don't know so do you think he's trying to breed a bunch of uh, people that will just go out and film 
And that so might be it. Life, you've got you doing it now. I've thought about it. I'm not an inventor. I'm not a guy that thinks those things up. Well, I'm sure for a nominal fee. Uh, yeah, he would do that. Right? He would do that for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he could build you a whole studio. Of course, you would never use it. Yeah. I mean, he built himself a whole studio. I told the garage is not a garage anymore. No, it's not. It's yeah. a giant. It, I told him he invented the world's biggest lampshade because yep. that's all it looks like now. <laughs> anyway. Big lampshade. All right, YouTube, I'm on the hunt. See ya. Cool. Oh, bye, Tony. Say bye. See ya. <laughs> He's a genius. Not heard that yet.